Right, so, set up out here, it is absolutely gorgeous out. This is the first day, I think, uh, of the year that's gonna get to 70 degrees. So it's gonna be really nice out, the sun is shining, the flowers are blooming, birds are singing, it is definitely spring. Um, but this is what I'm looking at for the composition here. I really like this tree, and I think I want that to be uh, the focal point, although, I was originally wanting to do a plein air painting of the woods, but I decided after I took a look at this beautiful blue sky with these big fluffy white clouds that I want the sky to be incorporated in the painting uh, as one of the main features. So this is what I'm looking at for that. What I'm thinking for the composition is I like how you have this hill in the background with these trees on it that slope down like that, kind of at an angle. And I really like this tree, obviously, and the sky. So what I'm thinking is I want to basically paint it how I see it. And I'm probably going to push these background trees back just a little bit more by making them a little bit lighter in value so that this tree can stand out from that background. So let's get into it. On the palette today, we have Payne's Gray, Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna, Brilliant Red, Yellow Ochre, Ultramarine Blue, and for a lighter blue, we have Blue Lake, and then we have our trusty Titanium White. I'm not going to put too much paint on right away and if I end up needing more paint I will just grab more I, I don't want to waste any all right we got our water in this mason jar and then to put the sketch on I'm going to be using this synthetic round brush it's probably a number three or maybe a number two so it's pretty small and I also decided to have the orientation of the canvas be vertical instead of horizontal. I feel like that's going to work best with the composition because we're featuring that pine tree, which is rather uh, tall. Just going to take a little dab of water and grab some of this titanium white to put the sketch on.
we're going to move on to putting down some color and we're going to start with the sky because that's what's furthest away and then we're going to work our way forward laying down the different elements of our painting so let's get into that all right guys to start we are going to use this number nine flathead synthetic bristle brush and i'm going to come over here and grab some of this lake blue and mix it with titanium white and I'm going to keep the blue lighter towards the horizon. Okay, so we have the sky put on. As you can see, it is lighter towards the bottom and darker towards the top. I did end up adding a little bit of, I believe it was burnt sienna, just a touch of it into that blue uh, as I got it higher up, just so that it's not super, super bright blue. Although the sky really is blue, uh, I just wanted to knock it down a little bit just so that it doesn't look too garish. Uh, but now we're ready to put the clouds on. So I'm just gonna take some titanium white for that, obviously, but I'm, I'm gonna shy away from having pure titanium white just so that it is not super bright because we want somewhere to go with the highlights. All right, all I ended up putting into this white is ultramarine blue and burnt sienna, as well as a little bit of that leftover blue lake. And then we'll put it on here and just see how it looks. It's looking a little bit too brown. That's a little bit better. just touching the edges in different spots. I'm using pure titanium white now. And if we had made our clouds too white from the outset, we wouldn't be able to do this because they would already be pure titanium white. So that's the importance of holding back on our whites until we're ready to put in those highlights. Now that I have the clouds relatively the way I want them, I'm going to put in that background 
uh, tree line on that ridge. So let's mix a color for that. More of that yellow that's getting better some more red some more yellow a little bit of blue from our blue lake color this looks pretty good I'm gonna test this out and see how that looks ah that's pretty good I might want to lighten it up a little bit. Add a little bit more titanium white and a little bit more yellow ochre into it. I want it to be lighter over on this side. Just so that it looks like it's a little bit further away over there. And I don't want it to just be a wall of solid color. I want to break it up and add texture and uh, different interesting things into it different shapes maybe slightly different values here and there i'm gonna need some more of this Payne's gray get some more yellow ochre on there as well and some more brilliant red that's kind of the colors I'm using I got my blue up there I'll wait to put any more white on though actually you know what I'm just gonna grab some of it we could always use titanium white okay let's get back to it Try that color out. We had some clouds move over and it got really dark. I don't think it's going to rain, but the light changes so much when you do plein air paintings. I'm seeing a little bit of green in there. So I'm just going to stick a little bit of green here and there. Kind of hard to see but now I'm taking a highlight color and I'm just putting in some highlights I'm just kind of lightening up this background ridge line of trees uh, starting on the left and then moving right because I want the left to be a little bit higher in value than the right nothing fancy we're just going to keep it simple because this is acrylic, this is already dry, so I'm able to just scrape this highlight color over the top of it using a dry brush technique. Very simple stuff. We just take a little bit of highlight paint and scrub it over the dry surface. And that's all there is to dry brushing. But I use it a lot, especially with acrylics. Now we're going to take our same brush that we used to do the sketch and I'm just going to put in some details back here. Just going to put in some darker tree trunks using Payne's Gray and some of that burnt umber as well as a little bit of yellow ochre and titanium white.
Okay, we're ready for the last element of our painting, and that is the pine tree. Well, I guess it's actually a cedar tree. Uh, we're gonna put it right up here, and I think we're gonna have it stop and end at the top right about here, probably. In real life, it goes a little bit higher, but for the sake of our composition, we're gonna make it a little bit smaller. We're gonna go back to our synthetic bristle round brush here, and I'm gonna take Payne's Gray and Burnt Umber to start out. We're gonna put in that pine tree. This is the scary point. I want to have it come right about here, I think. We're gonna bring it up. I think I want it more to the left, though. I'm just gonna start with the trunk. Bring it right there. We'll end it right about there. We're gonna start to bring off our branches. I'm gonna add a little bit, just a little bit of yellow ochre to our mixture just to have a little bit more of a green quality to it. This part is pretty simple. We just follow what we see. Now I'm going to take a highlight green color using this yellow ochre and some of that blue lake. And we're just gonna come up here and add some highlights in. For these highlights, I want them to still be darker than the background. Just a little bit of highlight right up into here for the trunk.
Okay, I think we're going to call it done after I put on a hawk or some sort of bird up here. I think that would help fill this area up a little bit more. We're going to use an even smaller brush now to do that. There we go, I like that. And just like that, painting is finished. I could probably spend another hour out here just tweaking it and maybe working on the clouds a little bit more, etc. But I think this is a good plein air study. We're gonna take it back to the studio and maybe this will inform a larger painting later on. Well everybody, that is gonna do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to leave me a thumbs up and uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, God bless y'all. We'll see you later.